And here we are, game number two of three between the Pacers and the Atlanta Hawks. Buddy wanted that, didn't he? They're playing without Clint Capella, their starting center. He's out with a right cap strain as now Young fires and hits from three. I'm, I'm sorry, Emmy Award worthy because there's no slap. They, they missed that one. And not missing that is Isaiah Jackson. And the Pacers are now five, five on four. DeAndre Hunter also did not play as a Kongwu dunks it and foul. The thing I believe, Chris, that people don't get. Three now for Trey Young from a two, and that makes it a 7-2 to two Atlanta lead. They lob it up, and a Kongwu throws it down. Yeah, you, just, you, 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 if you don't set a screen, you're going to have a hard time getting open here. Duarte goes inside and puts it in and got it with a chance for a three-point play. Great to see. Five-point Hawks lead, Nemhar. Here's a deep three by Heald. It's perfect. Well, Buddy is starting to figure it Well, you're still going to miss Miles Turner, but you're seeing some good things with Jackson. And Hunter in the corner. He's done a terrific job off the bench yeah, for short minutes. Did not play in New York, but had 10 rebounds against Charlotte on Sunday. They push ahead. Matherin lays it in. and the Not at Golden State. I'm not sure 31 points are in the card. Right. But, but I think he can play at a higher offensive level. And I want to see that with some consistency. 114-105 loss at home to Milwaukee. He was out with illness. He's made two threes to start this game. Spinning around, scoring, and drawing a foul. As that he's got to deal with is that he's got a lot of guys that can play that position here. He's going to get prime opportunity right now in a deep three by Young. He's hit three of them. McConnell gets past his former teammate, but Holiday took it. I thought he kicked it, and the officials didn't see it. Now Bogdanovich into the corner. Johnson for three. So after an early Pacers timeout, 9-2 to two to start the game, they lob it up and put it in. Because the Pacers haven't been able to. And I don't know what you want to call the set. That's closer to 6'7", then you got 6'11". McConnell over Bogdanovich. After a quarter here in Indianapolis, we'll see what that margin will be. Young off the glass, tipped up and in. That's a Kongwu. Bogdanovich goes inside. There you are, Quinn, getting into the paint. And now a three by A.J. Griffin missed. Offensive rebound put in. You're really at the corner of what I, I call them exiles. That's blocking out. And that's got to be something that the patients Jackson, Duarte, and Heal. Griffin reloads on the baseline. It rattles in. And try to stay strong in, in that, that manner. But also, he makes plays like that because he just naturally lobs it up. Jackson catches. Jackson got it to Mather. I'm telling you, pretty darn good pass with Jackson. The Spurs player played his first five years for Greg Popovich. That's swiped away. Isn't that his fourth block? Yes. Matherin splits the defense, lays it in. I am telling you, that is a heck of a This is not the big splash of Buddy, but Matherin just, just seems to get buckets. Getting buckets is A.J. Griffin. That's his third of the quarter. Ace is a chance to tie if they shoot a three. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, on the baseline, Murray missed it short. Rebound tipped away from a Kongwu. Running is Brissett. He'll throw it down. Well, that's because Duarte blocked out a Kongwu. McConnell, baseline against Young, cutting through his Mather, and here's two more. That was a good play. But he takes off going right away. 12 of his 16 points in this quarter. As DeAndre Hunter has his second. Indiana won back on December 27th here. 129-114. And a Kongwu. Well, they were trying to double team. In the rebound. Eight seconds to play. Great play. Great play. That's a big time play. Give Matherin some credit with a ball fake. But get that one out there. Good basketball play. A great way to end the half offensively for the pace. And look at you gotta look at it. You're wide open. And Jackson had it blocked. He gets it back and just pounds it home. Doc, you gotta shoot it. He knows it. He knows exactly how much time's on the floor. That's what you like about it. He doesn't panic. And if you have a guard that doesn't panic. Boy, it just hopped off the it rim. It sure did. It, it went on there softly, too.
He's made three of them with a chance to regain the lead. Pacers just led by seven, 62-55, and Young drills it. Well, they can do it quickly. It's time to... Murray for three. Now Matherin, Pacers have a four on two. Good find. Oh, that, that, that's, that's a play made by Ben Matherin. Uh, Matherin's got 18 points, but he... But when he's got the man beaten. Try to throw it over the top. Snagged by one of the better defenders in the league, as you said. Check in five minutes to play in the quarter. And Atlanta has a six-point lead. Make it eight. Gets it back. Got a break. He knocked it out of his hand. That's a break. He cannot get the ball to drop. Jalen Smith powers it in. Donovich. But he got it back. Hunter. Got it and a chance for three. Coming in in his last five, averaging 18. So you can see the kind of play that DeAndre Hunter has had here of late as McConnell goes right. Now heel. You got to take advantage. The Donovan is guarding you. You got to try to take advantage of it. And Smith got it on the bounce from heel. And they got fouled as well. Smith on the side of a convo. That, that's the way a lot of teams do in the Pacers. Are very much like that. Oh, Buddy got heel for he three. Got it. Got, it. got it. got it. You can tell. He's able to escape and escape to his left. These guys, they, they get emotional. They, they, you know, they feel some kind of way about things. He is the one guy that he really not had it going. See, that's what that's. There you go. You Got to be ready. To shoot. Well, that's a big shot for Chris Johnson. All right, stay down. Yeah. He's much more of an athlete than he is anything else. He's just got to stay down. On him. On the last couple of possessions. Got another one. That's his seventh. And now Buddy, 4 3. In! Yes! Buddy Hill! Otherwise, Murray's catching that ball and he's got a layup. And he gets to the rim. As Hunter was trying to take him in the post, Chris. Buddy missed it. Rebound into the hands of Brissett, who pounds it down. Really positive things can happen for the team and yourself. With Shea Brissett in double figures off the bench. He has 15. Trey Young. He, Young turns the corner. Stopped by McConnell inside. Akongwu, he missed it. He got his own rebound. Out to Hunter for three. Well, Rick Carlisle not happy at all. Not at all. Bogdanovich. Hunter for his 6-3. He's answering back. Nembhard goes inside. Rebound by Smith. Put it in. Good offensive rebound. That's a lot of effort being put on. Nembhard ducks inside. Had it blocked. Ah, and they're going to take the lead. Yeah, he made a play. Buddy Hill was going to get it. This is a good. Rick, Rick was taking time out, but he's, he's even better. You want to just get into it right away. Matherin's going to go down, spin against Hunter. A foul. And a basket. Yeah, he got him. That move inevitably gets you a foul call. Pacers by one. Eight to shoot. Young, step back three. And a two point. At no, he doesn't do that. The reason he doesn't do that is he doesn't want you to get your defensive team. In. I saw them two in the game. He actually got, and, and they want Nimhard to go. Now Nimhard. Here's a long three by Young. Barely hit the rim. It's yeah. rebounded, missed, tipped uh, in. Are they calling this basket interference? Pacers look, they lob it up, and that's going to be the game. And the Atlanta Hawks on the tip-in by John Collins with .7. They get the win, 113-104.